Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Genetics Challenge here in the Labarcatory. And today we are working our way away from the many, many magical mayhem genes we have been working with, and we are wiggling back into the wild with one of your guys' favorite of all of the creatures out there, it seems. One of the most highly requested and beautifully spotted wild dogs check this out isn't this just a gorgeous gorgeous animal i am so impressed by all of the different wild dog creations that we see on the gallery they really are a fantastically beautiful species and as you guys know the name african wild dog is actually being slowly but surely changed by scientists to the painted dog because wild dog makes them sound super aggressive and they're not super aggressive they're not a dog you're gonna go up and pet mind you from what i hear they smell so bad you would never want to go up and just randomly pet them anyway but african painted dogs are a beautiful highly intelligent extremely social species who build really complicated family groups. If you thought a wolf has a complicated family group, definitely look into what an African painted dog will spend their time doing together. The different kinds of calls they have, the specialized babysitting that they do, the way that they'll kind of like walk up to one of their friends and be like, hey, what's up? Hey, I'm glad to see you. Barf. And then the barfing is them offering up a gift of regurgitated food. It's really fascinating. So definitely look them up definitely learn more about them. Watch their extremely complex hunting techniques if you have not done so just yet. But if you have, then do sit back, relax, and enjoy as our African painted dog trots off into the uh, the wild savanna around him and ends up meeting a creature who we have not seen roam the land for many thousands of years now. The saber tooth. Behold, Look at those teeth! I love this! Oh my gosh, this is actually a saber tooth created by Kalino, and the saber fangs are also created by her as well, and uploaded over on her Tumblr. She's got a Patreon, she's got it all, and she's got so much fantastic custom content. So if you're wondering where the fangs came from, as usual, it is a Kalino specialty. And this is actually a mix I'm really excited about because saber tooth tigers did actually exist in Africa in the history of Africa. And that was really cool for me to learn because I'm familiar with them in North America, but they were quite widespread as a megafauna carnivore for a long time before between a combination of climate change and humans, they kind of went extinct, which is a bit of a pity. But at the same time, I think I'd feel a little bit differently about going camping in the mountains if I was worried about a saber tooth tiger lurking in the grasses. That definitely, the, the, the fangs give me a little bit of a pause, I will admit that. <laughs> but let's go ahead and enter the beautiful savanna where this saber tooth somehow is part of a lineage that has clung on for thousands of years. And as he roams through the bushes, he comes across this lovely and very curious, extremely highly intelligent painted dog. And let's actually give her a name. I just realized I haven't given either of these guys names. So this is actually going to be Brittany after Brittany Gaines who has left such a sweet comment in our previous videos. I love your use of heart emojis there, Brittany. And then this is actually going to be AJ the Sabertooth after AJ plays. So AJ having hidden in the shadows, clung to survival for generation upon generation, is searching for some new territory. His family is firmly established in a secret mountain range where they tend to flourish and uh, he's looking for somewhere new to live. As he pushes his way through the savannah grasses, he meets Brittany, who is also looking for something new. She doesn't exactly know what, but she has spent enough time in her family pack and is ready to form a pack of her own. Her big ears perked and eager to sense out some new sounds. She follows the rustling, rustling of the bushes and stumbles upon the oddest looking dog she has ever seen. AJ the Sabertooth Tiger. And look at his face! Even though he's a Sabertooth Tiger, doesn't he have just the sweetest little expression? Oh my gosh. Okay. He, as these two creep off, they 
Look at one another. They chase one another. It's a whole scene right out of The Lion King. Trotting past waterfalls. No doubt there's going to be birds flying overhead. Fireflies about. I have a feeling they'd even eat some grubs, because why not? Then these two disappear into a little canyon area where they fall in love and she'll have a pack of their own. A pack of what? Who really knows? This is going to be interesting to see. So let's see if we get any fanged African painted dogs this time, or if we're just going to have really big fluffy African painted dogs. All right, you guys ready? As usual, if you would like to become one of the animals that we have born in these challenges, all you need to do is leave a comment down below. You guys ready? Let's do this. All right, actually, let's go over with Brittany. Brittany, dear, if you could, let's start. Oh, look at the little poppers. Let's begin the litters. <gasps> look at the size of that head. Oh my gosh, you are so freaking cute. Behold, friends, silent wolf, or silent fox, excuse me. I'm so used to you guys having wolf names, I just jumped to wolf instead. But Silent Fox, thank you so much for all of your suggestions. I love the idea of a wolf and a unicorn in the future. That sounds like a great concept. And you cannot produce wool, my friend. However, you can be a sleuth who is independent and hairy. That is totally your prerogative. I actually don't know how many puppies a African painted dog will have in one litter. So if you guys could let me know, I'm really curious. I'm pretty sure that the African painted dogs are kind of like meerkats and hyenas, um, where, well, I think hyenas can have more than one baby, but where there will be a lead female who will do most of the birthing. And sometimes there will be a subordinate female who will have a few puppies as well. But I don't know the litter size. So if you guys know the average litter size of an African painted dog, do please let me know. And it, you know, if you could guess the average litter size of a saber tooth, then props off, you've done a lot of research into paleo history. All right, let's keep going. Next up we have, <gasps> look at you, you're not the one just yet. <gasps> fluffy, little fluffy kitten. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. This one is actually going to be Hufflepuff, which is just absolutely so adorable. Hufflepuff for life, thank you so much. My sister actually had a cat named Hufflepuff, so I'm totally feeling that right now. You cannot produce milk, my dear. However, you can be a vocal, independent, and stubborn little one who sounds just like my sister's cat Hufflepuff now that I think about it. All right, let's keep going. Oops, well, all right, we can come from the, the saber-toothed parent. <gasps> Look at this! We have a floppy little African paint dog, yes! All right, this is going to be Langley, after K Langley. There we go. Thank you so much for your sweet comments in our previous videos, Kang. I like your story that you came up with, too. That's really fun. I want to do more skeleton dogs now that you guys are, like, really getting into how they're a total mystery until we start breeding. And Langley, you are going to be absolutely precious, a playful glutton who is a couch potato. Oh, that's just so freaking cute. All right, let's go ahead and have the next one in the litter. So far, no surprises. It's gonna be interesting to see if we get like a surprise coat. <gasps> Another fluffy little one. All right, so this is going to be, dun, 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 myth. There we go. And I think myth and a griffin with a fox sounds like a really cool mix. You guys are coming up with some great ideas. I love this. I love seeing your suggestions. We've gotten some of our best mix suggestions off of what you guys have tossed into the comments. So this is going to be a playful, active, vocal little one who is so freaking fluffy. <gasps> Did you see the little floppier? Okay, this is turning out to be a really, really cute little pack of African wild wolf pups. I'm not sure if we'll get like a bit of a mix just yet. All right, here we go. <gasps> Another one of the saber tooths. Oh, this is so cute. This is actually going to be prairie after prairie marker. And Prairie Marker, I'm really tickled that you actually want like a book based on some of the stories that we have told with these animals, because that really tickles me. I'm actually thinking about seriously finally working on a book, as many of you have suggested. Uh, we'll have to see what NaNoWriMo this m month might have for me. All right, you are a loyal, hairy troublemaker, Prairie. Welcome to the pack. So we only have one little one left, and I am pretty curious.
curious to see exactly what's going to happen because we've so far ended up with either the painted dog or the saber tooth. No hidden jeans, no hidden coat pattern so far. Pretty unusual. Wow, we actually haven't even had demon eyes now that I think about it. Will things change? <gasps> no, we just ended up with another super fluffy, super adorable, big-eared painted wolf named Quiet Feather. After Quiet Feather art, and I love the little stories that you've come up with, Quiet Feather. Oh, three heroes, three villains for the skeleton dog, uh, like in the closet episode we did. That is such a cool idea. Please, please, please feel free to write that fan fiction in the comments. That makes me super happy. You cannot produce milk, however, but you can be a smart glutton who is adventurous, which sounds, I mean, look at that face. I, this is actually one case where I don't actually want to grow everyone up because they're all so freaking precious as pups. I just want to keep them like this forever. But time does go on, and eventually, this little pack of yippers and yappers, frolicking around their parents' feet in the savannah cavern that they have been raised in, are uh, ready to grow up. So let's begin with Silent Fox and see the only thing that we can really inherit now. Oh my gosh, look at the big ears we're going to be working with too. This is going to be so much fun. The only thing that we can inherit are those saber fangs. So I'm going to go ahead and roll and see if you get them or not, my dear. And... <gasps> Silent Fox, you've got a bit of a head. And that's such a funny little tail. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, Silent Fox, you are like ready to this is you look like you're ready to like take on a bighorn ram and just like the way that rams smack their heads together to battle that's what silent fox looks like like she has just got a head that's just going to be a ram horn knocking things down that's kind of amazing and i love her little tail that is adorable and silent fox did not inherit the fangs from dad we'll have to see what else like, like that's really now we know we're going large with the head. I'm kind of excited to see if anybody is going to inherit those big old ears. So Hufflepuff, you're up next. Oh my gosh, Hufflepuff, you cannot, gosh, you cannot have a dragon tail, I'm sorry. Look, you can have whatever you get next. That's not a dragon tail, thank you. Like that's a little bit, a little bit too silly for you to inherit a dragon tail out of nowhere. But here is Hufflepuff, my friends. So a smaller face than the saber tooth parent. However, Hufflepuff, you did inherit the teeth. So let me find where those teeth are hiding. There they are. No, don't be careful. Grooming with those must be extremely dangerous. But there is Hufflepuff, guys. So Hufflepuff has grown up into a proper saber tooth. Then we've got, wow, Silent Fox. That's exciting. Let's go ahead and see what Langley's gonna be. Oh, whoa. Langley, you, why is everybody trying to get dragon tails? Oh my gosh, Langley, you can keep the curly tail. <laughs> oh, that's so freaking cute. I love that. I didn't know I wanted the little curly swirl of an African dog, like curl tail so bad, but I did. So here is Langley and Langley has actually inherited the fangs. So we do have a curly tailed buffanged saber tooth oh my gosh that's so cute that is so cute maybe we need to grab like a chow chow and like a breed a saber tooth with them painted dog look at this this is more than i could have even dreamed of or asked for from this mix i love it fantastic job Langley. all right let me roll the dice again so that we can see will we be inheriting the fangs or not myth <gasps> myth yes you've got those big old ears that's what i was hoping for look at that face oh I know that African wild dogs are supposed to smell really, really, really bad because they just eat a bunch of meat and then they throw it up all the time to offer their friends and family as a party favor. But it's so cute, I just have to bet this one. And Myth did not inherit the fangs. So the, a, little, a little nub of a tail, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, Myth, you're adorable. All right, Prairie? Look at you, aww, Prairie. You look just like your saber tooth parent. So far, like, and actually did inherit the teeth too. We've only got one more to see if that inherits the teeth or not. Oh, this is a pretty good pack, you guys. They didn't really like, oh my gosh, I love Langley's tail. They didn't really look super different, but let's go ahead and see what Quiet Feather has to do. Oh, Quiet Feather. Oh, I love you. 
Look at the size of that face. Look at the size of those ears. I think those are some of the biggest ears we've had on one of our dogs yet. That's amazing. And we did not get the saber tooth fangs on Quiet Feather. So this has been kind of interesting. I actually am kind of amazed that we ended up with the same two coat patterns. It makes sense for the way the genetics usually work, but usually they end up throwing me a curveball. And I'm really tickled with just the variety, but I also really, really love that Langley ended up being a saber tooth curly tailed African painted dog. Just beautiful. Truly a work of art. Oh, I love this. But alright guys, thank you so much for joining me on this experiment as we set- oh my gosh, Silent Fox. As we set forth to see what would happen if we crossed a African wild dog with a saber tooth cat. And the results? Very interesting. I'll take it. If you guys have more ideas of what you would like to see, do please leave some comments down in the comment section below. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye